Alright, hi everyone. Um, we are here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Uh, gonna show off this new mini split install that we just completed this week. Uh, so just getting right into it here. You see here we have our two outdoor units. Um, all the indoor units, the heads that'll hang up on the walls, they're gonna run off of these two outdoor units. So like I mentioned, it was six zones. So both of these individually are three zone units. Um, the two of them make up the six zones that go outside. Um, this one was a fun install. Um, and it was a fun time designing as well. It had its challenges um, just based on some difficulty of where we could hang heads inside um, and how we could get the line sets run over there. So we're gonna walk through that and show you how we did it. Here on the left, getting into it here, it's gonna take care of the uh, kitchen and den area, the master bedroom, which is right up there, and then the nursery, which is right there, the future nursery, I should say. Um, how we got there, obviously, for the nursery here, we just ran one line right up the back of the house here. Um, the den and the master bedroom were a little bit more challenging. We brought the line set under this deck here. So we poke out for the master bedroom through the deck actually, and then we come up right to the deck. We'll show you how we do that and make sure the line set cover is flush to the deck and that all looks good. Um, and then the other one, we poke in through the garage and then come out to the den in that kitchen area to hang the head there. And we'll show you how that looks as well. Uh, so you can follow us over here. Continuing showing you guys the outside of the house and what it looks like on that first uh, outdoor unit that we were showing you. So this is the master bedroom head. Um, like I said, we came from below the deck. The guys brought line set up, so they would have drilled a hole um, down into the deck here, brought the line set up through it, and then ran it right up to the bedroom. And then we have the line set covered here, and we have this piece of, uh, of line set cover or slim duck, whatever you like to call it, um, that's flush to the deck, so that looks really nice. Um, continuing on, kind of see me in the back corner here, we got all the way through the end of the deck, um, then the line set runs up here, and then that actually pokes right into the garage, and we'll show you why and where that comes out to on the inside of the house. All right, so this is the head that I was talking about in the den area slash kitchen, so the kitchen is right back there and the head is pointing towards that open area and it's gonna cool down this whole area too. Um, we have a 9,000 BTU unit here. Um, went a little bit bigger than just using a 7,000 in this area because of these sliding glass doors. A lot of sunlight here, which means a lot of heat gain. Um, so that's why it's a little bit upsized and we're trying to make it um, take care of as much of the kitchen area as we can as well. Um, that's the one that came in through the garage. So we'll show you the garage and how that looks. All right, so uh, just showing you here, we just showed you that 9,000 BTU wall unit hanging in the den, taking care of that den in that kitchen area. Um, so we brought the line set in through the garage, obviously, because that is not a exterior wall, which is usually where we have to put mini splits. But like I said, we had to get creative with this one. So um, we put it through the garage, right? So the uh, line set would have come. You saw the deck, it came all the way under the deck, and then we poked into the garage here, brought it across and put it and hung it up there. Um, to drain the, uh, the system, which is something why we generally do not put them on interior walls, but with it being in a garage, we have the liberty to kind of do some more stuff here. So you'll see that drainage pipe is running um, pitched here across this garage wall and it'll poke out the front of the house and that's where the condensate will drain. So um, we were able to put it where we wanted to put it and drain it and make the unit work properly. Just had to get a little bit creative, but those are the type of things you can do with these systems. So we're in the master bedroom here. Again, this one, we saw that we went through the deck, came right up through here um, and mounted it here on this wall. Um, so it's a 7,000 BTU unit. So just talking a little bit about the functionality of these units, um, as you can see, it's operating right now. So you have this, uh, this uh, louver here going up and down, and then these veins in the middle here go left to right. That's all controlled on this remote here. There's also a Wi-Fi app that you can use to control it as well. Um, but you can see you can kind of point the uh, fan in the direction that you want it to point. Um, whenever we set them up, we have it in cooling mode and we have the fan in auto mode. So the fan's gonna act uh, or blow as hard as it needs to um, until it really gets to where it needs to just maintain. Right now we just fired these up and it's just working to get down to temperature. So once it gets to around the 68 that we have it set at, um, it'll start to um, it'll start to take the fan mode down a couple notches and not be, have to uh, work as hard.
Okay, so this head here will kind of continue to explain the um, design challenges and the uh, solutions we came up with to make this system work. Um, right now this is a guest bedroom, potential future nursery, um, so we definitely wanted to have a head in here. Um, the issue, if you'll see, if you look um, on this back wall here, the only exterior wall um, in this room is covered by these pretty big windows here. They're super nice windows, and, um, but they make it challenging for us to hang ahead because if you see there's not enough wall space on here, and even if you look below the windows, these uh, mini splits do have floor unit options, but we still don't have enough space here to even put a floor unit in with how much space the windows take up. So what we had to do is we had to put it on an interior wall. Um, so if you'll see here, we poked through and just brought the uh, line set that we needed and the drain that we needed. Um, and we covered it up with just this little piece of slim duct. Um, and then that flush piece here, this inlet, um, to go up against the wall. Um, and it's kind of hidden. You really never notice it just coming into the room. You only see it if you're looking straight on at it. And we try to do as minimum as we can. I think that's like two inches, two, three inches there. Um, but that's how you have to make it work for if you need to put it on an interior wall, there's going to need to be some line set and some slim duct that comes inside the house. But um, I think the installers did a great job making that look nice and clean and um, systems working great. All right, so now we're down in the basement. A really important thing that project managers, system designers, salespeople, whatever you want to call them when they're designing these systems, it's very important to check panel space. It's something that sometimes gets overlooked in the initial thing, uh, but it's really important because if you don't have panel space, there's going to be no room for a breaker to run the new mini splits off of. In this case, we needed two separate breakers because we have two separate outdoor units. So when we first came over here, went into the panel and saw that it was full. Um, so took a couple pictures, confirmed with our electricians that there was no room in here. Um, so we needed to add a sub panel to the job as well. And our electricians did a really nice job on this. It looks great. It's nice and neat here. Um, and this will take care of uh, the two breakers for that outdoor unit. But really important thing to check when you're designing these systems and uh, when you're considering it, if you're a homeowner that's thinking about purchasing mini splits, know that if you have a full electrical panel, uh, you may need to incur the cost of a sub panel to make the project work. Um, just quickly to, uh, touching on a couple more things down here. Um, like I talked about, we went from that right side outdoor unit and brought line set across the house to poke up to the front so we didn't have to run it all the way around the house. Um, and that right there goes up to where the living room head was. Um, and you'll even see across the back here um, that we cut in from the outdoor unit and we ran it across here and then it goes up to the office into the upstairs back bedroom. Um, so that you'll see outside, instead of having just to run it right across the house and having it look bad with line set and line set cover on the outside of the house, we brought as much as we could into the basement to hide it down here and limit the amount of slim duct in line set that needed to be on the outside of the house. So uh, that wraps up the basement down here. We're here in the living room area now, uh, 7,000 BTU unit. We have the 9,000 over there in the kitchen and den area that's gonna take care of kind of that side of downstairs. Um, this unit right here is going to take care of their dining room and their living room area. Uh, this one was a, a one we had to get creative with as well. Um, with it being at the front of the house, we don't want to run line set all the way across the house into the front. So what we did is we cut through the basement, came out outside, and then it's just a little small run um, of line set and slim duct right out in front of this here uh, to get the head where we needed it to go. So again, just minimalizing how much line, how much stuff has to go on the outside of the house. We're trying to make these look as nice as possible. Uh, we know nobody really loves putting, um, you know, that exterior slim duct on the house. So we, like I said, we're trying to minimize it and we we're able to do that here. So I'm really happy with how this one came out. Now we're up in the, um, right now it's an empty bedroom, but it's going to be filled eventually. These guys just moved in here recently, so they still get moved in. Uh, but it was important to have a head in here for them as well. This one's nice and simple. Um, Last one upstairs, but it is um, a 7,000 BTU unit for the bedroom. So perfect size there. Um, exterior wall, so that was nice and easy. And you'll see outside on this, uh, that second unit that we talked about on the right on the outdoor unit. You'll see that we were able to use one piece of slim duct and run line set straight up for this one. 
and also it covers the office downstairs, the slim duck and mindset run. So it's nice when you're able to use two runs for one, or one for two, I guess I should say. Um, but yeah, this is our last head upstairs. This is the last head we'll be showing off in this video here. Um, this is their downstairs office area. Um, I talked a little bit about upstairs, that bedroom at the far end, the empty one there, um, and how we were able to just go right up on the outside of the line set and slim duct. So it was one straight run to cover both of these. Um, so these ones are kind of directly below each other and in a straight line um, for the outside again to minimize how much line set and slim duct needs to be on the outside of the house. So 7,000 BTU unit for this room right here. It'll be plenty big to take care of this area. Um, and I can already feel it cooling down in here now. So um, looks good and um, yeah, that's, that's the last indoor head. Just to wrap up the video here, you guys saw both the outdoor units. We talked about the different runs on that left side unit there. You saw all the heads inside, right? And just to recap and talk about this uh, unit on the right side a little bit more, this one has the living room head at the front of the house. And then like we showed you um, down the basement, we came in there with the line set, ran it across to the right side of the house there. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that straight shot. Um, having line set and slim duck cover both that office and that back bedroom upstairs. Um, so that's pretty much our video. I hope we uh, uh, taught you something today about how these systems are designed and the different things we can do to make uh, systems work. Um, really every house we go to is unique in a way that we need to come up with a, a good plan on how to make uh, the system work to the best of its ability and so that the homeowners are happy as well. Um, so if you have any questions, Please leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer anything that comes in. Uh, and thank you for watching.